Hello YouTube. Today I'm gonna show you how I changed air conditioner compressor on Ford van. So first thing I did is I turned the wheels to the right because it swings the van to the left side and makes the right side go up a bit which makes the things a bit easier and uh, I didn't have to jack up the car or engine although I think maybe I just have something wrong with the car because uh, there's a huge gap between the bumper and the uh, grill so here's the AC compressor and there's three bolts they all 10 millimeter two on the bottom one on the top this one is the top one which is uh, the hardest to get to the bottom ones you can access through holes see the holes that's the third bolt So I undid the top one first with a wrench and the bottom one with a socket. It wasn't easy, don't expect to be easy. I broke a few tools before. When you want to undo the third one, the easiest one, that's when you need to remove the belt. So remove the air intake first. and to remove the belt you will have to turn the tensioner the tensioner has a hole for uh, I think it's half inch drive socket the square one so basically insert in the square your wrench tool or something and you have to turn it to the right easy to do it with a camera in hand so okay I got the tool inside the tensioner and I use a ghetto method to twist it basically attach a regular socket on top of this one and then you have to push it to the right it's pretty strong but you can do it of course it will help if you wear some gloves once you push it to the right you can take off the belt at this point you're pretty much no return don't forget to take out the tool if you work from the underside because it can fall on your head here I'm taking off the belt from the, the AC compressor and uh, you will see two plugs that you need to remove one I think is for an up sensor or something and the other is for the compressor itself and you should do it before you undo the, the third bolt this is the compressor connector remember to put them back when you put everything together this is how it looks the compressor connector and now that you have all three bolts out you can actually move the AC compressor that I think is positive 
cable from the battery you might want to remove this little bracket so you can move the cable away might be a good idea to disconnect the battery I did not so and uh, I wiggled the AC compressor vertically so I could remove the Freon connections oh, there's a black cat Freon connections are held by one 10 millimeter bolt. Once you undo that bolt, you might get some oil leaking out. I did not get. And when you put back, you just basically put the bolt in and uh, slide the connector on, on top of it, top of the compressor, because it has this groove opening and now that it's removed you can remove the compressor and the easy part is done you might want to measure how much oil you have left I had absolute zero left hard part is putting it back together here's the old one and new one well it's not new it's remanufactured but make sure they're the same I sprayed some oil on the bolts so they go easier back in and then you just put everything back in reverse it's not gonna be easy but it's doable every bolt will feel like a victory Here you can see the new compressor is in, everything is connected, the belt is on. In total it took me close to 4 hours to do it with no jack, basic tools. To get the belt back on, I had to just get a, a little bit more leverage, so I kind of connected these pieces together to make it a longer stick. Some basic tools. I would also like to say thanks to Eric Arias on YouTube who posted the only video I could find how to remove the compressor. He did it a little bit different way so go check out his video too. And that's about it. If you think I did a bad job and I should not be let near cars you can click the dislike button or you can click like and leave a comment.